set to sign off 2024 with the SPADEX mission. This is the SPADEX mission. The liftoff is scheduled for 10 p.m. from Sri Harikota. Just about 16 minutes to go. This mission will demonstrate India's capability for orbital docking, a key technology for future space missions, including satellite servicing and lunar exploration. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the pictures from Sri Harikota. And uh, as we await those pictures, and I, I think uh, it's going to be a fantastic way to end this year with that liftoff. We show it be super successful. And uh, Nambi Narayan's frame is being set up. Let's set up the frame for Nambi Narayan. And ladies and gentlemen, as we stay with these pictures, a marvelous end to the new year awaits all of us tonight. Here at Republic, we are uh, bringing you live images from Sri Harikota, ladies and gentlemen, where uh, the Spade X mission, which uh, Nambi Narayan is going to tell us more about, the Spade X mission, which aims to position India among the elite group of nations, currently including the United States, Russia, and China, that have achieved autonomous space docking technology. India's legendary space scientist, Nambi Narayanan with us this evening. Good evening to you, sir. This is Ornob here. I hope that you can hear me, sir, now. To you, sir, this is Ornob. Good evening, Arnab. Good evening, sir. Uh, we are getting the pictures from Sri Harikota. We are about 15 minutes to go. Can you tell our viewers the significance and importance of this particular mission which awaits lift off tonight? Hello. Yes. Nambi, sir, can you? I am able to hear you, but I don't know about the video, some problem with the video. No problem. But if you can hear me, I am getting your video fine. So I can see you as well, in fact. So my first question to you is, yeah. can you tell us the significance of this SPADEX mission, the SPADEX mission, if I am pronouncing it correctly? What is this mission about and what is its significance, sir? Uh, Actually, it's a very important mission in the sense, you know, ISRO is very popular for uh, cost saving and then clubbing various uh, mission requirements. Here, basically, we could have launched these two satellites and then certainly we could have got what we wanted, namely, it has different functions. But what we are trying to do is the total satellite, we have split it into two satellites and then uh, we have put them into circular orbit uh, are we supposed to put them in the circular orbit and one lagging behind the another by few seconds and then uh, it will, one is called a chaser another one is a target so what happens is uh, the chaser chases the tar uh, target and then uh, we, we, we actually have a docking docking in the sense that these two satellites are separate satellites but they are clubbed together so it will make one satellite now that, that one, we will be able to, uh, this one is a very important mission because as you know, only the China, Russia and the US alone has uh, achieved this. So if we do it successfully, we will be the fourth nation uh, to have achieved this. It will be useful for uh, many purposes, which will include Chandrayaan-4, which we hope to bring the samples from the moon back. And then we also have... Uh, uh, Gaganyan, and also uh, we propose to launch uh, some of our own Indians in the moon, think interplanetary travel. Everywhere it will be useful. Uh, you must be aware of the fact that international space stations, they are talking about docking. Uh, for example, even now uh, the SpaceX missions are trying to do something on the docking because they are successful in that. So the point is, it is a very important mission and it is critical and crucial. And uh, we hope to be successful. I, I, as you know, that these, these two satellites are going to be in, uh, I think it's about 420 kilometers uh, near Earth orbit. And each one is weighing something approximately 220 kilograms. Then once you club it together, it will be a single satellite. And between the two, you can change the power supplies and stuff like that. In other words, we, we launch two 
disintegrated satellites and then make them together into a single satellite. And then again we are going to separate it later and then trying to make use of these two satellites for different functions. Uh, and uh, during this uh, time we are going to see the clubbing, the, uh, the docking, what you call it as docking, and then uh, separate them and then again dock it and then again see the conversion from one to another. All these things will be specialized or at least we will get an exposure to that. That's a, in gist of it, this is what the importance of this. So will this, uh, will this Nambisar also have an impact on uh, our target to have our own space station? Is this technology very critical uh, in that regard? Sh sure, sure. Sure, you see, anything you are going to talk about, uh, what you call space station or Chandrayaan or um, in anything which relates to space, future travels, this docking is very important, without which you can't do anything. So this is actually a prelude to your uh, other missions which you are planning, which are in the charter. It is crucial. I think, you know, you have to understand that it goes with a differential velocity. Actually, this whole thing is moving with a velocity of approximately 28,800 kilometers per hour, which works out something like about 7,600, 7 7.6 kilometers per second. Then, in that position, you have to bring it together. So, the relative velocity between the two will be in the order of about, uh, maybe I think 0 0.03, that means about 3 centimeters or so and then uh, uh, dock it and then and, see whether you are and, able and, to and, push and it. And finally, in. briefly, how will the rest and of then the, the world and which… as a whole, as which, a single one. Which, sorry to interrupt, uh, but which, uh, which countries will be looking at us most closely? Will… Uh, will which no, global actually, space powers will be looking at this, this very closely? The, the initial mission… Uh, which country will be looking at it? Almost yes. all the… Space flying nations like uh, America, Russia, China, all the three will be looking at you very closely. See your success. I mean, though they may congratulate you, but they are looking at another competitor is coming in the line. And uh, okay, that's it. Yeah, Mr. Narayan, and it's so good to talk to you. I, I first of all want to wish you a very, very happy 2025. And uh, uh, we will all be going back, ladies and gentlemen, to the live pictures. Mr. Nambi Narayan, thank you uh, for being with us. I want to go back to the pictures, ladies and gentlemen, which we have right now, some videos and some wonderful pictures of there from Sri Harikota before liftoff. And once again, our best wishes to ISRO. Ladies and gentlemen, this is rolling coverage, as you see on your screen, eight minutes, eight and a half minutes or so till liftoff. And we will be back in a few minutes to take you live through this historic event. And as we come to the end of our debate exclusive with Mr. Nambi Narayanan, let's record and summarize with note assist using Galaxy AI on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. In just moments from now, ISRO will launch its groundbreaking space docking experiment also known as SpateX. This mission is a very key milestone in India's space program. This mission takes a key step towards key space docking technology that will be essential for taking up India's ambition in space human flight and realizing the dream of Bharatiya Antarik Station, the Indian Space Station. This mission comprises of two spacecrafts that will merge together in a docking maneuver at the altitude of about 470 kilometers above the Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, and there you have it, the precise reading of the news in a simpler format using Galaxy AI on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight. ISRO SpadeX mission launch is up next. Do not go anywhere. Stay tuned for our live coverage of the historic ISRO launch in just a few moments from now. Quick breather. Arnab will be right back with the debate. In the India Today Best Universities 2023 survey, India's number one ranked universities in various streams are JNU Delhi, 
Amity University, Ames Delhi, IIT Delhi and National Law School Bengaluru.